Hello and welcome. Watch My name is Kyle for the win, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. Today we got the full die machine trailer as well as the full zombies reveal to show this gameplay, which show us new integrations and everything of that nature. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the trailer as well as breaking down absolutely everything. This is a super, super, super exciting time, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the zombies mode. I know that on this channel we are mostly multiplayer or or oriented, but I do love zombies. I have always played every single zombies map that's ever come out, and I loved every single zombies map that's ever come out minus a couple. Of and I'm overall a big, a really, really big fan of zombies, and my machine looks very, very, very good for me. There's a couple of features I don't like, but we'll, I'll talk about that later on today. But I'm just hope you guys get to enjoy the trailer, and we'll see you guys in very, very a couple of minutes to go ahead and break everything down. So, we'll see you guys in very soon. Alright guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that trailer. As I said, this looks really, really good. We are going to be breaking down absolutely everything that I was able to take from this trailer. So first here, we see this Sam character. Now, I did just watch the intro cinematic as well. I probably won't make a video on that only because intro cinematics, two things are very, very uh, copyright claimed. So I won't be covering that. But based off of this, number one, she is talking here and her name is Sam. Now, why is Sam significant? Well, since I think Doris or Shino Numa, Samantha Maxis, also known as, you know, well, also known as Samantha, has been in Zombies for a very, very long time. She was a big part of the Ether storyline. And while the developers behind Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies said that this is an entirely new story, I can't help but be very intrigued that a German accent speaking Samantha that is a grown up, of course, zombies takes place within uh black ops 1 and black ops 2 or black ops 1 around the 1960s so in the 1980s and samantha was a very young girl at that time so in the 1980s samantha maxis would be an older older girl so that's very very interesting so just thought i would point that out that maybe this samantha is the same person as we had back in Black Ops 1 to Black Ops uh, 4 Zombies could possibly be it. We, we don't know that for sure, but very, very interesting nonetheless. 
And now he here we see, in a little bit, we see our our guy Weaver from Black Ops 1 campaign. There he is. Somehow working into zombies now, which is very, very interesting. But that's very, very cool as well to see Reaver back in the zombies mode. Now, here we see basically the teaser that we had from the other day. And as we can see here, this is like, what is this? And then Samantha, of course, is the Machina. Now, this is very, very interesting. I don't know what this is. This looks a lot like Element 115 from, you know, maps like the Rising Drac and everything like that, which is very, very interesting as well. And then these guys get mauled by zombies, which we see, which we saw in the teaser image or in the teaser video from Tuesday or Monday? Monday. From Monday. And then it continues on here norm with normal zombies fashion, showing the camera break. And now we will see some gameplay. So we can see our characters here. Now, what is very, very interesting to me is that there are no like specific characters. These are all of the operators from the multiplayer mode. So what I'm kind of wondering is are the characters that we have going to be the operator from multiplayer or are or is this just you know a prop or the or the fake characters and we'll actually have some real legitimate characters for the actual reveal of zombies because if they had the or for the actual game of zombies now if they have just the operators from multiplayer then there it will kind of be like a modern warfare 3 survival zombie mode which honestly i'm not really a big fan of because in you know pre in cold war or in zombies in general over the past years we've had some very good characters i mean in the ether crew we had nikolai richtof and takio and dempsey and they were you know they were stereotypical characters they were unique they had their own voice lines they were very very cool and they were connectable if they have just the operators from multiplayer within the zombies mode i can't help but be worried that the zombies mode will not have a as big of a you know that feeling of connectability to the characters that's that's just a, an early point but hopefully that's not true but again we'll have to see what happens so as you can see here this is definitely knocked darren toten now this is a different part of knocked darren toten from what we've what we're used to seeing this is, obviously looks a lot like the pillar room but this is not the pillar room i don't think this is a diff completely different room or maybe this is the pillar room no, I'm wrong. This is the Pillar Room from Nocturne and Totem, which is very, very cool. And I'm actually kind of tempted to do a series where I do a Road to or a Road to Black Ops Cold War Zombies, as well as a Road to Cold War multiplayer series leading up until the launch of the game, which I think would be very, very cool. Where I'll play Nocturne and Totem all the way till Tiger or Totem. That'd be that could be a potential fun series, but I don't know if I'll do that quite yet. That's a lot of recording and a lot of time, but you know, it's a possibility. But as we can see here, Noct looks very, very different. Back in Black Ops or in World at War, when we were back in you know the 1940s in Nocturne and Toten, it was a gray, rundown place with really no color, no vibrancy. It was kind of a very dark, gritty map. And now we can see some very, very bright Christmas lights. We can see some graffiti as if people have been coming back to this place since the zombie infection all the way back in the 1940s which is very very interesting and of course here we can see the m14 which is going to be never seen before so this is of course returning into the multiplayer mode as well and i also wanted to uh, point out that the flashlight here that we see is just until you turn on the power so that is obvious that is something that we were that i was kind of worried about personally while we were uh, you know talking about the zombie stuff and it turns out that that is exactly the case but it doesn't look to be pitch black like it was in the trailer it looks to be a little bit dark in some areas colorful in some areas but when you turn on the power all the lights will turn on of course which is very very cool as well here we don't really see anything but them walking through the facility and now we're going to get into the really really interesting stuff here so uh, of course as i said there goes my point again the underground facility is very 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 dark and of course they have their flashlights on until they turn on the power so as we keep on going here we can see red lights we see the brand new <clears throat> pardon me i apologize that my voice keeps doing that this is my my morning voice so now instead of a teddy bear which I think the origin or the origination of the teddy bear from zombies is um, Samantha's teddy bear. So it's weird that it is a colorful bunny now, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if, you know if that has any story implications or not, but it's still interesting nonetheless. And again, as I said, my point proven dark, dark until the power is turned on. But now we see some zombies, which means zombies will attack you when it's dark. So <clears throat> be aware of that. So again, it continues. Not much is happening as well here. You know, pretty much just cutscenes at this point, but now we see the power being turned on, which shows boom. Look at this facility that is underneath Nocturne Totem. 
insanity. I mean, look how big this facility is. Craziness. Now, this area of the map seems to be a very, very sketchy area that you really don't want to spend that much time in. I mean, of course, zombies mode has always been a mode where... I, I, again, I apologize, my voice keeps doing that. Just bear with me. I don't know why it does that every single time I go to record, but it is what it is. Um, of course, zombies, when you play zombies, you have to be very, very careful because a lot of close quarters happens. And yeah, you have to be just very, very, very careful whenever you play this. Or especially in this area because it is such close quarters. I mean, you can just see it right now that there's about one zombie human and one one zombie and one human width apart or else you're going to get absolutely destroyed so again we see our look at the zombies again they have yellow eyes samantha maybe still has an effect on the zombies again i'll have another video later today talking about uh what i suspect the story might be for this and you know some of the stuff that i am kind of keeping in my head but as we can see here this is a new piece of equipment that was leaked and it is a little handheld whatever looks kind of like a paint gun a nail gun of some kind which is very very interesting but what it does is this creates a lightning little feature and i'm sure that this is going to be a buildable that you have to actually build yourself this looks very very cool and obviously it absolutely demolishes the zombies we'll have to see what it does you know in later rounds and stuff how viable it is it may be a high round strategy and again this guy just destroys a zombie with an rpg pretty self-explanatory nothing to break down here although actually i just saw something Let's go back half a frame. We can see ourselves an arrow there, which obviously that, that arrow indicates up here that there is that power is that way. So if you guys were so when you're you know coming down this way, I think there's a staircase there up there as well. So if you're coming down the stairs, you can see that this is the power that is indicating to go, I think, either that way into this building up here or come downstairs where you'll turn on the power. Now this little blue and red light here, I'm not sure if that is a perk. Or if that's just a light, I'm not sure. But it does def definitely does look like a perk, which is very, very interesting as well. So again, you can see that arrow a little bit closer from that angle. Now we see ourselves a sentry, and this basically goes to show that there are going to be kill streaks coming into zombies. Now this is not a trap because they actually confirmed in the video I will make later today, talking about all the other stuff, that they will there will be kill streaks within the zombies mode, which is very interesting. Honestly, it's a feature that I'm kind of I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think killstreaks belong in zombies, I really don't, especially because I just I just don't think they add much to it, except to make it easier on you. Again, it's more, I'm getting more survival mode than classic Treyarch Zombies vibe from this, I don't know why, but, I mean, obviously it's classic Treyarch Zombies, I mean, we see, we will see the classic perks here in a little bit, we will see, you know, it, it, it's zombies, but the operators for multiplayer, the creative class, which I'll talk about later, and the killstreaks, Reminds me a ton of survival, which again, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I'm, I'm not opposed to change, but it just won't feel like that classic zombies mode that we know and love from previous Call of Duty games. Now here, in a little bit, you'll see something very, very interesting, which is this dude. Now what on earth is this? Elemental zombies returning? Looks like elemental zombies will be returning. Now these guys look kind of interesting. Now I assume that they'll be very easy to kill, but they will have a little explosion when they explode which will damage you kind of like corrosive things from previous games so again be very very aware of these guys but uh, again they split into two which means there could be other elemental zombies these are kind of like the acid zombies from the chaos story crew so they were kind of annoying but they really weren't that big of a deal they were just you know they were just there and they could affect you if you weren't careful but for the most part pretty pretty cool there hopefully they're not too overpowered and pretty easy to kill but again be aware of them as well but they look really really good as well now here is something very very cool now this isn't a new perk this is the dead shot daiquiri perk machine and it looks incredible like it looks so 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 good i mean you can see i mean the old machine looked bleh to say the least i mean it was black and green with a green daiquiri cup now it's like red it's super super rock and roll and it looks absolutely awesome Yes, it's Headshot Daiquiri, which really wasn't the best perk ever. I mean, it just gives you he increased headshot damage. But based off of some of the leaks that I've heard from Charlie Intel, there's going to be no perk limit. So you could buy this perk if you wanted to. But very, very cool looking machine. Very, very happy that they remastered a kind of dull machine to make it look even more cool in this new zombies mode. Now, here we see a nuke. Now, part of me thinks that this is going to have to do a lot with the Easter egg. 
but, I, but I'm not sure. Of course, we'll have to play the Easter egg and stuff when the Zombies map comes out. I may do Easter eggs on the channel this year. I don't really know for the most part. Last year for Black Ops 4, what I did was, or two years, I guess, for Black Ops 4 was, I just played the Zombies map one time and kind of just left it be and did guides and stuff on the maps. But this year, I may do Easter eggs. I don't know. kind of just depends on how I'm feeling and if I have the time as well. I mean, I really don't have a ton of time to kind of make crazy videos and stuff, but, you know, be aware that I could be doing the Easter egg as well, but I think that Nuke will have something to do with the Easter egg. Now, this is very, very cool as well. So now, instead of being stuck in the Nocturne Toten facility the entire time, which would be kind of like the original Nocturne Toten, this has been an extended area. And I'm very, very curious to see in this wide open area if there's going to be some specific Easter eggs that kind of relate to the old story. Maybe we'll even see the crash plane and maybe even the corpse of the guy from the Nocturne Toten uh, cutscene that would be very very cool and would be a huge nostalgic easter egg throwback but this looks very very cool so you can come outside which is probably i mean look how big this is this wide open area is but of course we can see the big nocturne totem facility here kind of on the horizon again it looks much much bigger than the original nocturne totem by a lot i mean the original nocturne totem was very very tiny so this looks very very wide open very very cool now again i assume that this outside area will be the best place for for hoarding up zombies training and everything like that which is very, very, very cool. So again, more cutscenes, more stuff that is just kind of interesting. Now we see ourselves the wall by. Now this is the actual inside the Nocturne Toten, the original, I think. I think this is the original Nocturne Toten, but I'm not sure yet. We can see ourselves a wall by here, which looks to be the, I mean, I'm gonna say the RK7 Garrison, but because I can't remember what it is from Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. I mean, we, we just used it, but I can't remember what it's called. But it looks very, very cool. There's a wall weapon there. So this appears to maybe be the starting room, possibly. Don't know for sure. But as we continue on here, we can see pretty much nothing else. Although back here is the quick revive machine. So that also raises another question. Is this going to be the starting room as well? I don't know. I don't know if I can answer that question right now because, I mean, obviously in solo, you always spawn close to the quick revive machine. So I'm assuming that this is going to be the starting room down here and then you move into the facility behind this character here, move into the building over here to get into the facility, turn on the power, so on and so forth. And now we see something very, very cool. So we obviously, you see the AK-47, AK-74U, you also see the mystery box, but now we see the new bad boy wonder weapon for this map which is absolutely amazing it's kind of held like the jet gun we can also see some of the whoops let me go back very quickly there we go you can also see the no go back you can also see the little the it from the first person's pr perspective and now watch this bad boy do its thing boom you shoot a giant orb and it literally kills everything in its path which is incredible now the thing about me when it comes to zombies mode when it comes to zombies, I like going for high rounds, that's kind of the thing I like to do, and high rounds obviously requires a super, super good wonder weapon, and this wonder weapon looks super, super, super good. Hopefully the ammo is great, hopefully it's very, very strong, hopefully the damage doesn't drop off and it's a, per it's a permanent damage weapon. That would be very, very cool, I cannot wait to give that weapon a go, I mean it just looks absolutely incredible with how much damage it does, and it looks like a very fun wonder weapon. And maybe it'll be buildable, or maybe it's from the mystery box only. We'll have to see come the launch of the game, of course. But very, very cool nonetheless. Now, here we see a zombie turn into a corrosive dog type character. Now, this is an underground area. So, honestly, this map seems very, very large. Like This seems like a very big map. Again, big maps are okay. But they do take a lot of learning when you play that map and stuff like that. So, you know, if you're not a very serious zombies player... This map may be a little bit scary, or not scary, a little bit you know, crazy for you if you're a new player. But it looks very, very cool nonetheless that there's an underground area, there's an upper area, and there's, of course, the no no Nocturne Toten area. Now, this is very, very interesting as well. This is like a Hellhound corrosive type thing. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be the Hellhound equivalent, which is going to be kind of that every five round boss wave, quote unquote, where you just, you know, you get a max ammo every time. Or if this is going to be a special thing. I don't know yet that yet or anything like that. But looks very, very interesting nonetheless. And hopefully they're not too hard to kill. Hopefully they're not like crazy overpowered or anything like that. Because an overpowered fast boss in zombies is just never really that good of a thing. But now we see the original Jug Machine which looks very, very, very cool in this new generation of zombies as well as Call of Duty. Now we see ourselves the War Machine as well. 
which this is of course a kill streak but i wonder if it, in zombies mode it's different than a kill streak again we'll have to see and again more explosions more of the usual stuff from the trailers and now we see this guy calling a chopper gunner again i do not know how i feel about kill streaks coming into zombies i just it just doesn't feel like it should be in zombies i don't know that's just my opinion as someone who's played zombies for a very long time i just like it to be a survival hoarding mode not anything like you know crazy but we actually oh wow i just saw that i just saw that i just noticed that this guy dropped a grenade and then this person dropped this zombie dropped a scavenger pack now that's interesting now i'm not sure if this is a perk that you will have that will let this happen or if this is just the new zombie drop type thing which would be very very weird but this yeah i just noticed this i've, I've not seen this in any other trailer video but yeah a grenade drop there and an ammo bag drop there very very interesting now here we see the new pack-a-punch machine now this is very very cool this is obviously the classic old school pack-a-punch machine and it looks like after the events of tag which is this is not the same story but maybe in the same universe the researchers within this facility they found the original pack-a-punch machine and then they kind of put it back together is what it looks like which is kind of cool like it looks very very cool and it's called the forge now which is kind of interesting but we see a little computer here we see where you would put the weapon in and where we would spit it back out and we also see a lever so very very cool very very cool little easter egg there now we see an ability now this is a very interesting ability this basically makes you invisible now i'm not sure if these abilities are going to be like they were from world war ii zombies where you would get an, a, an, a special ability like in world war ii zombies we had free fire which was unlimited ammo we also had the invisibility ability and stuff like that so again i'm not sure if this is sort of like that or if you have to earn this some way or if this is like a zombie blood equivalent drop don't know but very interesting we also see a very good image of jug there i know i kind of blocked it but you probably could have uh, seen it and now we see ourselves a brand new perk which is elemental pop now i wonder what this is i mean we can see that cans are going to be the new way we drink the perks but i'm not sure what this is going to be is this going to be a way to upgrade your weapons to have an elemental ability is this going to be a way to get those little special elemental grenades which i'll show you another one very very shortly in the trailer but this is a very very interesting perk hopefully it's pretty good hopefully it's worth the points it costs we'll just have to see though very very cool though and again you can see kind of a look there actually i'm going to go back and see if i can take a look at the image that's on the perk bottle so it looks like a, a heart that's been broken with a bullet and i see four little squares here so i think that's what it, this perk is going to be if you have a pack a punch weapon it'll give you a specific ability for that weapon don't know it's, it's a possibility though but i just thought i would maybe try and look at that now I, I know it's blurry but i just thought i maybe would try and take a look at it to see if we could see what it is but as we can see this person is obviously using pack a punch gun with the purple shooting animation coming out of it now we see man these zombies are sure messed up they're gritty they're kind of creepy which is what you like to see for sure now we see the classic og ray gun now hopefully the ray gun is actually good in black ops 2 and black ops 3 the, and black ops 4 the ray gun kind of really dropped off with his damage the ray gun doesn't really do as much work as it used to hopefully it's very 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 powerful within this new zombies game because the ray gun is just it's a classic og weapon they kind of have to put it in there but most people don't really use it anymore because it just doesn't really do the damage that you want it to but this is obviously knocked there's the knock stairs there's the other room and knock and stuff like that so that's very very cool as well and now we see ourselves this very very green corrosive glowing guy with a tape recorder or a book that says cc cccp on it i don't know what that is i mean i have to do some research but we obviously see the hammer and the sickle which indicates that this guy is definitely a russian and now we see him we also see the glial wall by i think is that what that is back there but we also see this guy charging up this green whatever it is and he's wearing a hazmat suit and boom we see the guy we see this man let me see if i can get a perfect pause nope messed it up again come on perfect pause ready go well close enough we can see this guy in the hazmat suit looking absolutely insane now is this going to be the zombie boss of the map i don't know is this going to be this but the boss of the map like if you complete the easter egg again i don't know but very very cool nonetheless super super cool boss hopefully he's not too crazy but and is just a lot of fun to have on the map and there we go that is pretty much all of the trailer you would think but we also have in a little bit here we have to get through all of this other stuff we have boom the juggernaut jingle and now this actually 
a nighttime version of the map. I just want to get a really good angle of Juggernaut while I talk about this, but this is a night version of, I think, the same map. So are you going to be able to play this map at night and during the day? That would be very, very cool. Like one, t one day you go and you play the map and it's daytime. One day you go play the map and it's nighttime. One day you go play the map and it's snowing. But I think that would be really, really cool if they had dynamic weather that is not confirmed or anything like that. But I just thought that I would say that this is a night map of the same map. So night and day could happen. Maybe it happens while you play or maybe it's just that the way the map that is. I just don't know that for sure. But now that is going to be it from the trailer set that we see Woods here destroying some zombies like usual. Actually... This doesn't look like the same map, but I think it is as well. Like, I don't know. Like, what is this? What is this little thing up here? This jellyfish dude. I, I don't know. This looks very, very interesting. Is this a nighttime version of the same map? Is this a completely different map? I have no idea. We don't know, but we'll see. We'll probably see very, very shortly. But anyways, that is going to do it for the trailer. And honestly, I like how the gameplay looks. I really, really do. It looks very 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 awesome in my personal opinion but there you go guys i just want to do it for the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what your guys thoughts are about black ops cold war zombies are you a big zombies fan and are excited are you not really a zombies fan that don't and doesn't really care about this i'd be very very interested in hearing what you guys have to say if you guys have anything to say at all but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like and i will see you guys all on some more black ops cold war zombies and maybe some black ops or some modern warfare season 6 gameplay later on today